What's up guys? Welcome to the channel and welcome to a potentially very, very long running series uh, if people like what they see. Anyway, <clears throat> as you can see here, this is .hack GU Last Recode. Now this is a uh, re-release of a PlayStation 2 game that came out years and years and years ago. Uh, one of my favorites in the actual series of the .hack games. This is uh, the .hack GU series, which is not to be confused with the .hack Science series. Anyway, uh, it's a collection of games that comes with uh, four games, along with uh, the terminal disc, which includes um, <clears throat> like the animated shorts and stuff like that that came with the uh, uh, the original copies of the game, uh, which goes a bit into the background and all that stuff. We may or may not <clears throat> go over them. And then there's also this little parody mode thing, which I have no idea what that is. Anyway, um, for people that are interested in this, it also has the ability to have uh, Japanese voice acting and English voice acting. Uh, for now, I've got English voice acting on. <clears throat> and if you guys are interested, we could try out the Japanese voice acting eventually. But uh, for now, yeah, let's do this. Let's go to volume one, rebirth, new game. Let's go. And then, uh, cheat mode, normal game. We're just gonna go normal game, obviously. And there we go. So, this, uh, first episode is mostly gonna be cutscenes and, like, tutorial. Uh, I played it last night for, uh, I don't know, an hour or something like that. And, uh, probably the first, like, half hour or so is, um, cutscenes along with a little tutorial section and, um, more cutscenes. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and go through all this. I'm just going to go ahead and let it play. So, enjoy. Oh, and the music in this series of games is amazing. So, I will leave you with that, and I will be back once everything is all said and done. So, again, <clears throat> this is a PS2 remaster, so the graphics aren't exactly going to be impressive, but all things considered, considering the age of the game uh, and the source material, they've done a pretty good job. Oh, Haseo. Oh, this is cool. Hey. Hey, you. You, the adept rogue. Yeah, you! I'm talking to you! So, I take it this is your first time playing this game. Yeah, I just finished installing it to my PC. Well, if you wish, we will be honored to show you around. I am sure you would like to become well acquainted as soon as possible. Just say yes and come along with us. I promise you won't regret it. Uh. <laughs> eh. All right, <laughs> it is decided then. What's up, Luan? Here, I'll hand you my member address. Oh, gee, thanks. Asta! Ah! Member addresses are short email addresses that you can only use in the world. Gee, Short thanks mail allows you for to that info send and receive messages nation. from any player online in the world. You can only invite people that you have member addresses for to join into your party. All right, so let's open the menu. Let's I'm gonna wait for this little cutscene to end. People just said they're gonna be jamming on triangle. 
So let's select party. Oh, hey, this look. This is a list of all the people who have a member address. No way. Okay, let's have some fun. I am honored to lend you my sword. Okay, great. Now your party is complete. Remember, you can only invite people logged into the world. Enough with the formalities. Should we go on to your first adventure? Head to the save shop before going on an adventure. Talk to the save shop clerk and choose save from the menu to save your progress in the game. Alright. Yeah, Lil Mama better be good or else you're gonna demand a refund. And yeah. I like that it doesn't open up a separate thing to save. It's just kind of there, which is nice. After the preparations are complete, use the Chaos Gate to go on the adventure. All right, adventure time! So I'm sure you've already noticed by now the general aesthetic of this game is that um, it is a single-player game, but they treat it as if you are a person playing a MMO. So you see, like, NPCs and stuff running around going like, let's exchange addresses, and, you know, I'm always getting ganked, and yada yada yada, various MMO lead speak this and stuff. This is a transporter called the Chaos Gate. What's up, Zulia? And the, uh, the general aesthetic of this game is the reason why so many people like it and why it's such a long-standing series. Players can use this to travel from the root town to other locations. Choose warp menu. Okay. In the world, all locations except for root towns, fields, and dungeons are called areas. No way. You can warp to these areas by combining three words at the chaos gate. These words... Determine the type of area, monster strength, and so on. All right, let's try out the word selection. Choose area word from the menu. The ellipses in this game are out of control, by the way. This is where you input the words. The thing at the top is the word plate. You combine the three words in here to create the area you want to go. The gyro at the left of the screen shows your current stock of words. You can get more words by getting information from other players, emails, and forums. Okay, why don't you give it a try? Let's start with the first word. Choose courageous from your stock. Will do! Okay, now you can go to your first area. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. See the mark left of the area word? That's a server symbol. It indicates the server you're currently in. Right now, it's showing triangle for Delta. So, as you can see, we are all in the Delta server. If it's a different server, you'll go to another area even with the same area word. Pay attention to the server symbol when invited to an area by a friend. If you want to know more, just check out some of the forums. All right, then we're off to Delta Courageous Engaging Daydream. Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> so, obviously, this game and, you know, the various other spin-offs, the manga, the anime, and all that in the Dot Hack series, these are the, uh... So, we've all been transported to a field. No way. These are all the, uh, kind of the, uh, the start of the whole stuck-in-a-digital-world yada 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 thing. Uh, so, you know, sword art, you know, and its ilk and all that. This is the area map. Of course, then there was Use like, you know, to check Excel world and all info, that, but... And any other yeah. information you may need. This is our mission. Collect the number of symbol fragments required for this area. Missions are basically, um, well, I guess they're sort of like our objective for the area. Thanks, Captain Obvious. It looks like this is a collection mission. We must collect three symbol fragments and make our way to the Beast Temple. So I, I can't even see that name anymore without thinking about Black Clover. Black Clover is a, uh, is a new series that came out uh, uh, pretty recently. The symbol it's on like are in treasure chests found episode on the four altars. now or something like that. But uh, there's a character in it named Asta, and he... <laughs> 
<laughs> his voice actor is energetic, the to say the are least. Protected by monsters, so the only options are to open the treasure without being seen. Trying to order a tripod for your phone, you put in the address and it or said it couldn't recognize it. First, That's weird. Then open the treasure. Double check your zip code. These are the altar icons. I suggest we first head to each of these icons and open the treasure chests. Oh boy, let's do now, it. This is the icon for the Beast Temple, which is our final destination. Okay, now that we've confirmed what our mission is, let's be on our way. Wait up, Asta. You forgot one more thing. Use this transporter to return to town after completing the area's mission. It's also got a healing function called Platform Rest, which you can use once in the area. Use it when you're low on okay, HP and SP. this time let's really get going. Hmm. Mm. Yep, use the map and stuff. All right, let's go. Eoten, Asta, I'm sure we're going to have just years of friendship once everything is said and done. We're going to be nice. the best of friends. We found an altar already. Don't know why you're saying it like it's a surprise. I mean, it's on the it's on the map. Now let's get a surprise attack going here. Good. Now press X. We got surprise. It. Once the battle begins, the battle area spreads out like this. The battle area is surrounded by the battle fence, so it's virtually impossible for anyone to escape. The only way to escape from a battle is with an item called a smoke screen. Asta and I don't have one right now, so we'll have to fight it out. Hey, you're not too bad. Not so difficult, huh? Keep it up. Yeah! <laughs> That's it. Just continue fighting like that. Zulia, congratulations on getting those ninety followers. Followers? Nine? Me? New, new followers is what you were trying to say. Congratulations. Not bad. This guy just KS'd me. Took took all my kills, man. Hope that doesn't become a habit. Altar treasure chests. Sometimes the treasure chests on top of altars will contain symbol fragments needed to open the beast temple. It's, it's exactly what we just talked about. Remember to search the treasure chest after defeating the monsters around the altars. Yes, okay, got it. Collect all three, search the thing. Okay, let's go. Let me kick that thing. Acquire the first symbol. All right. So let's just continue along our merry way. I wonder why fish are strung up there. Oh, well. All right. We oh, found right. another altar. The voice acting is, is so cheesy. To attack. <laughs> wow. Slow. The regular and combo attacks are just simply normal attacks. It's nice of the enemies to not attack me while they're talking. Skills enable you to do much more damage to your enemies. Skills are powerful attacks that require SP, skill points, to perform. Press triangle to open the main menu and select skill to open the skill list. Skill trigger is a shortcut for performing skills. Press R1 to open the skill trigger menu. Okay, what you see here is the skill trigger menu. No way. Do you see the four panels? You can press the button that corresponds to each panel to execute the different arts. Now try it out by using the arts. Gale Blade. Blade. All right, perfect. The skill trigger is not just a shortcut. It can also be used to stop enemy attacks, or it can be used to interrupt one of your own. Aren't you forgetting something important, EO-10? There is an even more important use for the skill trigger. Of course I haven't forgotten. You're talking about Rengeki, right? Now introduces one of my favorite lines. It, throughout this entire series, the Rengeki triggers, they're my favorite. Rengeki is an advanced skill attack with an increased amount of inflicted damage. To perform Rengeki, use a skill attack when the enemy is surrounded by blue and purple rings. It appears when continuously inflicted with damage. 
Attack the enemy until it's surrounded by blue and purple rings. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. attack, attack, attack. So each of your uh, weapons and weapon types that you have have different names for their uh, abilities. I like whenever you use Rengeki because because your your character always yells Rengeki, especially later on uh, in the other games. You get a lot more uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Edgy when you say your things. It's really funny. The voice acting is is entertaining. Favorite action is triggered when Rengeki is used or other conditions are met. It raises the morale of your party members and will allow you to execute more powerful attacks. Conditions for favorite action vary with each party there member. You go. Very well. Shall we let him play as he wishes? That's a good idea. All right, Haseo. It's all up to you now. Sure it is. Trigger gauge will appear above the player's head when using them. Well, when the skill trigger is used, it's not possible to use items or skills until the gauge fills up. And R1 appears. Judgment! We never lose! We never lose. Yeah. So yeah, that's the basic gist of the, the combat. As far as all this is concerned. It gets better. Like, once uh, we get to, like, the second volume and stuff like that, they they make a lot of changes to the combat uh, for the better to make it less simplistic. Oh, fine, whatever. Just run in there and murder everything. Level up. All right. So now that we have all three, we can finally go over to the temple. Awesome job! I know, right? All right, let's finish off by heading for the Beast Temple. It's like I've played this before. Okay, now use the map to check your position, just like we taught you. Or I could just go there. I mean, there's only like five little spits of land here. I'm pretty sure I can figure it out. And oh my god, we're gonna take a left. Oh wow! It's the temple. Alright. Begin! Cutscenes! All the cutscenes. This is a statue of Fulset, the god of law. We just call it the Beast Statue. But I think in the game's story, it's supposed to be an important god or something. You see that treasure box? That's the offering to the Beast Statue. There's a rare item inside of that that you can only get in this area. Go ahead and open it, Haseo. You sure? Go ahead. You're still a noob. You need all the help you can get. Yeah. Dry gear. Sounds so unappetizing. Thanks. What? What? What the? The items in the treasure chest. Are your rewards? Yes, and our reward is you. <laughs> I love taking out these pathetic noobs. It's really quite fun. Face it, an idiot like you isn't qualified to play this game. Hey, hold on. I thought you said I could kill this one. Don't you remember? After all... This is my reward! Smooth. That 
that's right. It's a big ass chainsaw sword. It's more like a circular saw sword. Nice try, dear. Oh shit. How pathetic. <laughs> Well, what do you expect from a noob who's just logged in for the first time? Oh, come on, say something already. Hello? How can I say something if I'm dead? I swear, just pretend to be their friend. They fall all over themselves to let you PK them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're still around, aren't you, kid? Headshot. Well, stomach shot, but you get the idea. Dibs on his weapon. I like the flourish. Welcome to the world. So polite. Not what I would call my ideal first day in the game, though. Heck, not even first day. First friggin' 20 minutes. Eight month later. <laughs> Hi, Zulia. Hopefully things are not shitty for you soon. Don't have GU. What an idiot. <laughs> hmm? Oh, Bordeaux. You fool. Yes, it is, hobo. This is a remaster. Huh? 
I'm surprised. I didn't think you'd be that strong. I guess this means that the rumor about you killing 100 PKers wasn't a lie after all. Hey, come on, don't look at me like that. Here, let me apologize. So just take it easy, calm down, and die! I don't know, that's asking a lot. Die! Do you know Triedge? What did you say? He's Not that whole. Legendary PK shrouded in blue fire. They say players that get killed by him never come back to the game. Huh? Oh, come on now. Don't tell me you actually believe that crap. Those old forum fairy tales. So, you think you can go up against me, the great Bordeaux, and just walk away like nothing happened? And then her head was cut off. I think I can. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> oh, tuning fork sound. You never get boring. that stinks of death it's rude the terror of death buffalo chicken meatballs huh. all right players who kill other players are disgraceful and i agree it's terrible how pks can just strut around the world so easily these days but is it right that you pkks have chosen to use brute force to stop them i don't have time for this not now you have no authority and it earns you nothing so why? I am the leader of Moon Tree's Unit 2. My friends call me Sakaki, and I'm afraid I cannot overlook your actions. Did uh -huh. you say Moon Tree? What's that? The name of a guild? <laughs> Sorry, Sakaki, but I've already got enough friends. Thanks. This person? Uh, no. Atoli. It's not unusual to meet players with similar characters <coughs> in an online game like this. <laughs> Just a case of mistaken identity. Hey, you. Quick, check the background. Look, it's Eoten and Asta. A text message. Delta hidden, forbidden waterfall. Waiting at R.K. Kelm. But who sent it? <gasps> Ovan! You son of a bitch. <laughs> Just hold on a moment. Why don't you stop acting like a complete fool? Remember what you PKKs are trying to do. If you succeed, you'll be no different from the PKs themselves. That that can't possibly be true. You're exaggerating. Oh, 
move on. Oh, hey. It's been a long time, Haseo. Or maybe I should call you the Terror of Death. You've gotten quite strong, a lot stronger than you were back then. Well, I was forced to become stronger, thanks to you. You, where have you been? Haseo, always the reliable one. I knew I could count on you. When the Twilight Brigade broke up, why didn't you come then? What have you been doing the last six months? I was busy. It was such a small seed. I needed to find out what was growing inside. And there was only one way to find out. That's why I decided to raise it. You raised it? What are you talking about, Ovan? I'm speaking figuratively. When you suddenly disappeared, we all just... Why did you disappear like that? After that, Shino... Haseo, do you want to know about Triage? Wait, you know Triage? Six months now, and Shino hasn't come back to the world since Triage killed her. Dun dun dun. Meanwhile, the real life Shino is lying in a coma, and no one seems to know the reason why. Triage. He is not a normal PK. So you knew about Shino? Yes, but that's all that I know. But if you were able to find Triage, you might learn something about Shino's coma. You may also learn more about what really happened that day. And if you were somehow able to defeat Triage, then maybe Shino would come out of the coma. If my information is correct, he will be back today, at the scene of the crime. The scene of the crime? You mean... Delta Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. The place where Shino was killed. The Holy Ground's Cathedral. Yes, finally! I'll get my chance! I swear I'll bring Shino back! I'll do it, Ovan! Yes. You and I, we're the only ones who could possibly bring her back. We're the only ones. <laughs> Ovan? I'll meet you at the Holy Ground. There are some things I must do. Now, if you haven't watched the original Dot Hack series or the dot hack gu series for the anime <clears throat> some of the things they're talking about here are going to be very very confusing for you this is a game that requires some i don't want to say homework but homework <laughs> for you to fully understand some of the things that they're talking about triage is coming here Oh, careful there, Joseo. You don't want to cut yourself on all those edges. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot more to the story than what it seems. I mean, this is the first in, a, you know, sequence of four games, so obviously there's a lot to the story. Oh man, all those months ago. There used to be a statue of a girl here. A girl? That's right. She was called Aura. I wonder, why'd she disappear? Who knows? Maybe she just lost her interest. Lost hope for this world. It's another reference to the original series <laughs> and subsequent series Aura has always been a pretty important character
And if you aren't familiar with the original series, you won't really understand the significance of this dude. But it's okay. He's just... For all intents and purposes, he's nameless bad guy right now. Needless to say, he's kind of a big deal, though. My god. Wish I had dual blades that sounded like machine guns going off. I think it's over. Don't do it, Kite! Don't do it! Tina Drain! Okay, now it's over. No, my edgelord gear! I grinded so hard and so long for it. Heh, <laughs> ladies. And again, the aesthetic of this game, to make it seem like it's a game inside of a game, it's just, it's just amazing. It's just, it's, it's so good, the amount of work that they put into it to convince you that you're, you know, playing a player character inside of a game. It's just, it's just very nice. It's very nice. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode there. Sorry for the cliffhanger, but hey, I'm at time, so it is what it is. Anyway, if you guys liked it and you want to see more of the series and you potentially want to see more of the games... Uh, let me know, and, uh, yeah, let me know if you also want to see, uh, the, uh, the Japanese voice actors and all that. The, the English voice actors aren't so bad. I mean, it's got my boy Johnny Young Bosch in here. We'll, uh, be introduced to him a little bit later. But anyway, I'll catch y'all later. Uh, bye-bye. If you're watching on Twitch, keep, uh, keep on watching. Uh, keep playing. <laughs>